Hey everybody, Andy Trice here. And today I want to show you something I've been working on that uses IBM Watson, which is a cognitive computing platform that you can access through Bluemix, which is IBM's cloud services. The sample that I've been working with uses a natural language recognition question and answer service, which is one of the um, services that's available through IBM Bluemix. Uh, I've taken the default sample, which ties into an open healthcare data set, and I've tied that into the Google Speech Recognition and Speech Synthesis APIs. So now we can have a conversation with Watson. Um, Watson has the natural language recognition. It can, and using the speech recognition API through the browser, I can capture input from my voice, turn that into text, send it to Watson. Watson's going to answer the question based upon my input and then return an answer and speak it back to me. Let's go ahead and take a look. I took the Watson QA starter project for Node.js and extended it to customize UI and tie into the Web Speech API. The Web Speech API is currently supported in Google Chrome, so this demo has to be run through the Chrome browser. But what I can do, I'll scroll down here so we can and see the interface, is I can type a question and Watson will answer it and it'll read the answer to me, or I can use the Web Speech API voice recognition service. So I'll just click on the microphone and ask, what are the symptoms of Parkinson's disease? Often, the first symptom of Parkinson's disease is tremor, trembling, or shaking of the limb, especially when the body is at rest. You can see that the service took the input from my voice, converted it to text, sent it to the Watson server, got an answer back in full natural language, and the browser read that back to me. Now let's try another example. What are the benefits of taking aspirin daily? A blood clot can block blood flow to your heart and cause a heart attack prevent blood from getting to your brain and cause a stroke. Taking daily aspirin can prevent blood clots and lower your risk of heart attack or stroke. If you've already had a heart attack or stroke, daily aspirin can lower your risk of having another one. And there you have it. We have a complete system. This is using the public healthcare data set, so it will only answer healthcare related questions, but it will take our natural language input, send that to Watson, process it, get an answer back and read it back to you. I've made this code available on IBM Jazz Hub, which is a Git repository. You can just fork this project, you can download it, and you can start working with it yourself. And you can get started with the IBM Watson Cognitive Computing Platform through Bluemix. Just head over to bluemix.net and sign up.